I literally sat with myself for like almost 24 hours because it was important for me to make the right decision. So it's like I had to relive the whole journey once again. I've been dealing with the feelings and they weren't good feelings. Like this wasn't really a happy time for me. Throughout this process, you have always been my number one, but you've always made me feel like number two. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. I wasn't getting phone calls. I wasn't getting texts. I think you were consistent for like a good week and a half, and I appreciated that, but I know how it feels to be pursued by a man that really wants me, mm -hmm. and what I got from you was not that. I genuinely had a connection with Walter, and I really, truly wanted it to work. But I kind of had to go through weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks of inconsistency. Don't just keep saying that I'm your number one. Like, actions speak louder than words. I just know that I deserve the best, I want the best, and unfortunately, at this point, I think that our journey should end here. I have to be mindful of the things that I do, the decisions that I make, because I'm not just choosing me, I'm choosing me and my daughter. I fell for Walter. He's just not my guy. I will always love you as a friend. Right. But I hope, you know, you understand. To tell you the truth, it caught me off guard. I hadn't talked to her since she spoke with my family. And after she spoke with my family, I thought it was all good. All right, so I guess I'll go. Yeah. Give me a hug. <laughs> yeah, I bet. All right, I'll talk to you soon, I hope. Yeah. Give me a call. <laughs> <laughs> I will, because your ass don't call me. <laughs> Everybody has their flaws. Nobody's perfect. Us as friends would still have been cool. It didn't have to be like that, in my opinion. But if that's how she felt, that's how she felt. If that's what she decided to do, that's what she decided to do. The Hit Dating Series returns. Subscribe to our channel for more Ready to Love.